Hello and welcome. Today I'm here with the HP Omen 17 for 2023, again featuring the RTX 4090 GPU. We've got 16 gigabytes of RAM on board the GPU, and we've got a max TGP of 175 watts. And in this video, we're gonna do some thermal testing to show you what the temperature is like across this device, as well as look at what the noise profile is like that's coming out of the fans that cool this device in the various different modes using the software. And towards the end of the video, I'll give you an overview of the HP Omen software, which is the control center that's used in this device to manage all of your performance settings, as well as undervolting and some other neat things that HP has thrown in for us. It's a pretty good software, so let's begin here. I'll give you a, a, an overview of the device here and how the fans and cooling system is laid out. We'll take some temperatures across the device, as well as the surface temperature, the back of the device where the exhaust vents are, the side exhaust as well as the WASTs and I'll give you my overall impressions of the thermal performance of this device. Uh, and then we'll look at the noise profile that's coming out of this uh, laptop in the various performance modes that are built into the HP Omen Control Center. Uh, and then finally at the end, I'll give you an in-depth overview of the Control Center itself. I've been playing Hogwarts Legacy for more than an hour on this device. It's a little bit better way to soak the device in than using an artificial benchmark such as Firmark, which mostly relies on the GPU. So here we can see that uh, you guys can see about 165-ish, you know, and it hits 170 watts here and there in this device. The fan noise overall is it's somewhat tolerable. I don't think it's too, too loud, but again, that's gonna be very subjective and depend on, and depend on what your priority is for gaming on a device. The 17.3 screen is also a big bonus over a traditional 16-inch laptop. And the QHD panel is absolutely fantastic. I have no complaints about this uh, about this panel, other than perhaps it could be a little bit brighter. And there's no stickers here labeling this device to be a G-Sync display, although it is a G-Sync display, so just something for HP to note. In the future, for marketing purposes, if you've got a G-Sync dis display in this device, please tell us so with some stickers I've seen on other models as well. So on this device here, the primary exhaust vents are on the back the entire back of the device is an exhaust vent as well as a smaller exhaust vent on the right hand side on the left hand side there's no exhaust ventilation because that is reserved exclusively for ports most of the device devices ports are on the left hand side and as a right hand user i really appreciate that to keep my left hand free of clutter and wires tangling particularly if they're towards the front of the device that's a really nice touch and on the back here, we've got just two USB ports for you know peripherals and things of that sort. There's a lot of heat coming out of here and of course, across all the way towards the back of the device. So now let's grab the heat gun here and we'll take some temperatures and let's begin with the surface temperatures here. We'll start in the left-hand corner. I will start there, so about 37 degrees. And we as we head along here, 40, 42, 41, 41, 42, 42 and a half. Okay, let's see if we can find that heat spot, which should be right somewhere around the center here. And if I feel a lot with my hand, I would say it is maybe in this area here. Uh, yep, let's see. <laughs> Forty degrees. Yeah, it's a nice and cool customer. Okay, so pretty cool there. Forty forty two degrees seems to be about the the highest temperature. Not warm at all. I mean, up here, obviously there is some hot spots where it's about 42 degrees, and if you keep your hand there for quite a while, it starts to feel, you know, you can start to feel the heat build up as it transfers to your skin. But other than that, there is not, nothing about this device here which would tell me that, you know, this is not gonna be a good experience in terms of thermal performance. Because this is a 17.3 inch chassis, it means you got a lot more volume in there in order, in order for the air to move through. There is a big air intake here at the top of the device. And if you hover your hands, you can see that there's air suction that's going through the device there. And overall, if you're touching anywhere on the keyboard while you're gaming, along the trackpad down here towards the battery, it's all nice and cool. Low temperatures here, if we check along the battery, again, it's in the 30s. All along the trackpad, it's even in the low 30s at some point, or below 30 degrees. And on the WASD keys, it's very nice and cool right around the low 30s here. So no issues with gaming on this device for long periods of time. If we look at the exhaust vent, where the 
actual heat is being exhausted here we'll see that there's about 53 ish I've seen it hit about 54 degrees at one point 50 can we find the 54 degree hotspot about 50 degree 53 degrees and similarly if we look at the back of the device and look at the exhaust that's coming out of there it is quite warm but again do not be gaming with this device on your lap alright so overall that is the thermal performance of this HP Omen 17 with the RTX 4090 I'm still at around 165 watts and if we look at the actual software there's a few different modes here so I'm testing in the performance mode and the fan set to auto if I crank the fans I don't really get any more performance the CPU and GPU does seem to run a little bit cooler keep in mind that the HP Omen 17 for 2023 does not include a vapor chamber which is a big shame in my opinion considering that most of the 17 inch and 18 inch laptops that are you know powered by the RTX 4090 this year are coming equipped with vapor chambers to make sure that everything stays nice and cool and temperature is well under check one consequence of this is as we can see here in this game uh, i'm running uh, hogwarts legacy for over an hour now and i'm right at that thermal limit for the gpu sitting at 86 degrees 86 degrees on the gpu and 94 to 96 ish degrees on the cpu so yes i'm getting all that performance but that power level is causing the temps to rise and they are very very uh, high temps on both the GPU and the CPU it's leading me to think whether or not my GPU is being throttled because it's hitting right against that 86 degree wall which is the thermal limit for the RTX 4000 series and but despite that I'm getting about 165 watts of performance and occasionally it'll hit up to 170 or pop above 170 watts still a very very lovely and playable gameplay experience I've had no issues whatsoever now let's take a listen in and we'll check the sound profile starting with performance and we'll work our way down into the eco mode. So let's grab our sound meter here. So about 67 decibels of fan noise that's coming right at the exhaust level. And if we hold it up to ear level, let's take a measurement and we can see here that it's about 52, roughly 51 and a half. We can just round up to 52 degrees or excuse me, 52 decibels of sound noise. Now we'll switch modes here. So let me open up the Omen control panel with we'll switch down to balance. Actually, let me first demonstrate the max fans mode because that gets quite loud. Let's give it a minute here to ramp up. 67 decibels, the fans spinning at 4,500 RPM. Also, HP also included for us a, a manual mode which allows us to tune the RPM. Right now it's running at max speed anyway, so there's really nothing further we can improve here. Uh, but 67 decibels at the device output and let's take a measurement at ear level and right about 52 decibels there now let's switch down to the balance mode and take a measurement at the device level in balance mode the fans are well tuned they take a few moments here to ramp down but once they do and they settle we're right at about 3500 rpm that's a quarter nearly a quarter or more reduction in terms of the rpms and we're sitting at at the device level around 62 decibels or 60 decibels excuse me and let's take a measurement at ear level so we're now sitting at about 46 decibels at ear level for volume in balance mode uh, from the fan noise on this device uh, there is a significant downturn as you go down lower in the modes with the HP Omen 17. The power level to the GPU has now dropped to about 120 watts. So if you look here, it's about 115, 120 watts. Uh, but my the temperatures have also gone down. My GPU is now well under 80 degrees and my CPU is at around 88 degrees. So a 6 to 7 degrees drop there by moving it down into balance mode. I'm still getting well over 100 FPS. So not a bad compromise in terms of the ear noise or the sound noise at ear level as well as the th temperatures being a little bit more balanced. At least we are not thermal throttling any longer on that GPU. So last, let's go into the eco mode here and this will really tune down the power. And let's take a measurement at device level first of the thermals after the fans have settled in just a moment. Okay, so after settling in at eco mode, the fans are really nice and quiet now, almost inaudible to the ear at, at ear level at least. Uh, in eco mode, the RPMs have now dropped to 2800 RPM, just slightly below 3000 RPM overall. Power levels to the GPU are right around 110 watts still. Let's look at the measurement here or the fan noise at the device. So right around 57 decibels approximately, let's take a measurement in eco mode at ear level to see what is the fan noise. 
and a little bit of a drop so around 43 and a half let's just round up to 44 decibels in terms of fan noise at ear level in eco mode and if we look at the overall performance of this device uh, in eco mode I'm able to still get around 75, 80 FPS with the CPU turned way down now to about 26 watts of power, but the GPU is reduced slightly from 120 to about 110 or 115 watts. It basically disables the dynamic boost at this stage and we're getting the raw performance of the GPU, still able to get well above 80 watts, or excuse me, 80 FPS. And if we listen to this device here, it's it's nearly silent at ear level. So very, very, very respectable uh, noise, fan noise performance here from this Omen 17. And if you're willing to compromise a little bit on the frame rates and you don't need to push up into the triple digits, you can have a fantastic gaming experience with even the latest AAA titles as I've demonstrated here with Hogwarts Legacy running at around 110 watts on a 4090. All right, and here we are in the HP Omen Gaming Hub. This is the software that's preloaded on the HP Omen 17, and it's used to administer the laptop, look at the performance, the vitals, uh, the CPU, GPU performance, as well as change the different perform performance modes. So we'll look at a quick little overview here of this control center software and see how it fares compared to the competition. So we'll begin here with the home as you launch. You got some quick widgets here, which give you the CPU temperature, the utilization along with GPU temps and the RAM usage. So what we wanna look at here for the actual particular gaming interest is this title, Omen 17. So this is where you will actually manage most of your configurations for your CPU, for your GPU, for your fan profiles, and also your graphic uh, modes, whether it's running in discrete GPU or in Optimus and hybrid mode. You'll start here initially at the system vital screen. So again, some temps and uh, stats here. Also gives you a quick toggle here to jump to the performance control where you can actually toggle between the different performance modes. And we also got uh, undervolting here on this device, which is possible through the HP Omen Gaming Hub. Now you can see here that I've applied a minus 40 millivolts undervolt here, but I found that this particular unit or the CPU that's in this particular unit is not very stable. So I've had issues with, with going anywhere above 0.5 and I've then thus had to pull it back down to around minus 40. I'm still getting the occasional crash. So maybe I'll pull it back a little bit further to maybe 35 or 30 millivolts. The unfortunate thing is once you do apply this, you need to restart uh, and that can be a bit of an annoyance. So let's return back to the vital screen again. At the top here, you've got a, a sim simple and an advanced mode. If you switch into the advanced mode, it basically just shows you temps and everything at the very core level, and you can get more granular data about your RAM usage, your network speeds, and your GPU and CPU utilization, looking at all the cores, temps, and the and the uh, loading as well, as well as the frequencies. And if you go to the info screen here, you can see all of the different specs of this laptop. This is a nice to have feature. I do not understand why more of the screens, or excuse me, more of the control center softwares do not include this type of configuration information. Next tab over we'll look at is undervolting. So this tab you can access here on the left hand sidebar or up at the top. We've got also on board here a network booster. So this will basically tune the ethernet and the Wi-Fi that's on this device to help you get a little bit better of a performance and less latency out of this device. Then if we jump in here into lighting, we've got some really nice lighting on here. And this is an optical mechanical keyboard, you know, got nice optomechanical switches. They work pretty well. Uh, and in here you can jump in, choose all the different cycles, apply it, and you get your nice little visible uh, a key backlit RGB uh, effects. Next tab over is the performance mode. So this is what I was referring to earlier when we were testing the fan noise that's coming out of this Omen 17 for 2023. We've got three modes that are predefined here, eco, balanced, and performance. And auto switch to eco mode is basically when you unplug the device to go into battery mode, it will automatically switch the device into eco mode. By default, this is not selected. So if you're getting awful battery life with your, with your Omen 17, make sure to come in here and toggle this to auto switch to eco mode. It will also scale down the 240 Hertz display on this model and also the overall power that's uh, boosted or that's pushed to the CPU and GPU so you can get a boost to your battery life. You've got next is balance mode. So in eco mode, you're not able to adjust the fan speeds at all. When you go into balance, you finally have control over your fan speeds. You can also set it to max, which goes up to 4,500 RPM, gets quite loud, but it's a slow ramp up. Uh, you can also go into manual mode and just tune it to, you can use a flat curve here, which basically drags it to what level, or you can choose the dynamic curve and go in here and you know adjust all of these points to your heart's content. And also you can adjust both the CPU and the GPU fans individually if you want to play around with the curves or you can just max things out like I've done here. So nice to have, let's go back into auto mode. 
and you get some temperature readouts at the bottom of the screen here. That's a nice little handy feature. And if you go into performance mode, so this is the mode that gives you the best performance from this device and is the recommended mode for gaming. However, as I've demonstrated, you can actually get fairly good performance and even all the way down to eco mode as long as you're plugged into AC power and not running on battery. And finally, you have the graphics switcher here. So this is managed by NVIDIA Optimus. You could choose to go in here and choose D DGPU only, which means it will switch to your dedicated graphics. I don't see any reason to, to do that. It's nice to have a device that is just automatically able to switch. So advanced Optimus is left on by default for, uh, for my intent. And then of course, you've got some macro keys here. There's a row of macro keys to the left-hand side of the keyboard, to the left of the QWERTY layout, and you can use customize those keys to map to particular macros for you know running whatever it is that you wanna do within a game or even within the uh, device itself. Uh, it would be nice if we can have some updates and other kinds of BIOS uh, abilities right through the software, but HP has kind of offloaded that to Windows Update. So rather than using their own HP Go Gaming Hub for offering updates in terms of BIOS and other utilities, you have to go into a separate HP application, which then goes to HP support software and or support site and pulls any available updates, including BIOS and drivers updates for this particular device. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. And if you found this useful, please like and share my video on your other social media channels and subscribe to the channel to help grow this particular channel for more future videos just like this one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.